Greetings, a man for your boy, the righteous messenger. And today, the story is that Ghana Police Service has warned or cautioned prophets against making prophecies that incite fear and danger in the public. A man for the press release, the toxic Ghana Police Service statement on communication of prophecies and their legal implications charlie in a long document if i say i go read that charlie we no go end but basically it is one prophets against prophecies that instill fear and danger this kind of death prophecies we prophets they make especially 31st nights prophets go stand pulpits some of them they write long lists of prophecies. This uh, artist go die. This politician go die. This uh, important personality go die. Then about the prophesy say Makola woman there he go die, or some truck pusher go die. And are they like this question? Are they like this question? Wow. Say police, if we come out with something like this. Charlie, it be progress to me in our country. But one prophet, <laughs> Naji Gezi, come out, can talk, say, I am not a coward. I will prophesy. You'll be attacking the church if you come after me. Imagine. Attacking with church. The, 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 the police service, they talk, say, your prophecy should be reasonable and amount for the police they talk as well say if you prophesy without without evidence Charlie you go face five years imprisonment they go jail for five years if you prophesy without any evidence and look at this what this Najigezi is saying Najigezi is the founder and leader of prophetic chapel hill Hmm? So them they are always they won't lie people then claim the my money chop in the name of God. And it talks a it talks a we will cross our prophesy in our confidence. There will not be any shadow on that. I will speak the mind of God. Personally, I am not one of the cowards. I have been called by God. I have an assignment and whoever is coming after the church is making a big mistake. He told TV3 in an interview. A man for just this 27, the police released this press statement to the toxic the prophets to be careful with their prophecies this year. If you prophesy without evidence, cause fear and panic in the public you can be jailed up to five years see what Najigezi did talk and this this Najigezi Yahweh he can prophesy say Mahama will win 2020 elections but Mahama lost which God is speaking to him mm, because he talks uh, I will speak the mind of God hey <laughs> Charlie, me, I won't make you speak the mind of God, make you prophesy, say somebody go die without evidence. Charlie, they go swam in jail and give me five years. I they like. I go see her, another one, two. Salifu Amwako Amwako. In his 31st night prophecies, withdraw your directive or face God's wrath, selling for a to police. Huh? Imagine, withdraw your directive or face God's wrath. Which God? Where the God be? Huh? I'm on for this with the kind of scams where they take claim money from church members and congregation unsuspecting citizens 
They, they use this kind of tricks all the time. Mind games. Give to God. Give to God. And God will bless you. Every 31st night. New prophecies. Whilst the previous year's prophecies hasn't been fulfilled yet. And people still keep running back into the churches for more. I don't understand. You know, JBR, one prophet into the city of Jesus and warfare, Stephen Kwesi appear, founder and leader of New Life Kingdom Chapel. Not too long ago, in October, he prophesied he Shatawale would die. And Shatawale, too, being as foolish as he is, took advantage of that to go and stage his death on social media. Imagine! And boys! are still rallying after this guy who can't even stage his own death successfully. SM for life, SM for life. For life is for life. Chale, can you use my wife's up? Oh, SM no go do nothing give you. Find job then do. Get money put for your pocket. Do something for yourself and your family. And these pastors, me, I won't make them prophesy. I won't see the trend way the prophecies go take that the first night this year. The end of this year, that the first night, which is tomorrow. I want to see the trend that the prophecies are going to take. Because this ultimatum or this caution that the camp police service has come with, press release, I hope it's not a joke. Already, prophets are coming out and saying that they'll prophesy they don't care. I want them to be dealt with. Five years, all of them. Build prisons, give them. The one way the Assemblies of God Church go build somewhere in this year, I hope uh, I'm, I'm right or, 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 or I sit, I stand to be corrected. Take them, go put there if they make this kind of fake prophecies without evidence. Hopefully, if you're body righteous messenger, I can pass through once again and you know. I will see you for the next video. Happy New Year. Peace.